What's up, everybody? This is Master EN Gamer, and Echo is now playable on the PTR. In this video, I'm going to be running through all her abilities, testing them out, getting a feel for her. So let's get started. First of all, yes, she is a DPS. Uh, I will 100% be making an entire video talking about that aspect of her. I think I'll save my thoughts for that video. For now, let's take a look at her abilities. First, try shot. Fire three shots at once in a triangle pattern. Sticky bombs. Fire a volley of sticky bombs that detonate after a delay. Flight. Fly forward quickly, then f then bleh, then free fly briefly. Focusing beam. Channel a beam for a few seconds. Deals very high damage to targets under half health. And her passive is the space hold glide or hold jump to glide while falling. And the ultimate. Duplicate. Become a copy of the targeted enemy hero. They cannot swap heroes for the duration. Oh boy, let's try this out. I was watching Tim the Tapman's stream of this, so I've seen a bit of how this works. She's a pretty crazy hero. Let's just say that much. So that's her primary fire right there. Reminds me a lot of Doomfist's uh, primary fire. She also has her alternate fire, which is what we saw in the Zero Hour animated short. And that is its own sort of ability. It doesn't, like, share ammo with the primary fire. So you can go like that. That is cool. That is a cool ability right there. Let's do some flying. Whee! Okay, so she can just fly around like that and then hold space to glide, much like Mercy. Wow, and that's got a fairly short cooldown, too. Only six seconds. Wow, okay, so yeah, she can fly around, as we would have expected. She also has a beam, which... ...does more damage when they have less than half health. So let's try to weaken down one of these guys to like that. Let's use it. There you go. <laughs> That's how it works. Seems a bit powerful, but uh... You know, it's one of those things we'll just have to play test and see how that how that works out. And now let's try out her ultimate ability, which can be best tested over here with this new little feature they added in, which lets you uh, do whatever character you want. So let's go with uh, let's go with good old Sigma. Let's go ahead and just uh, duplicate him. Yeah, and uh, if you haven't noticed, the ultimates do charge much quicker when you've duplicated someone. So, Sigma's ult takes a long time to charge up. I only got it once there. I'm sure you could easily get it twice if there are enough enemies around to just charge it up. But, yeah. That's such a fascinating ultimate. I've seen people make uh, like speculations about that possibly being an ability or an ultimate, just duplicating an enemy. I never bought it because I thought it would inherently be too OP and too complicated to balance. But Blizzard apparently went for it. <laughs> so let's charge it up again and try it. Let's see, who would be another hero? Do some tanks because, you know, I'm a tank main. Wrecking Ball. <sighs> I feel like there's a lot of ethical questions <laughs> when it comes to copying heroes like this. Uh, I, again, I think I'm going to have to make a separate video talking much more about my thoughts. The duplicate uh, ultimate is awesome. It's very cool. I don't know how I feel about the idea of there being a hero who copies an enemy and then becomes a better version of that character. It almost, it almost like is taking away what makes the characters unique. Because you're like, oh, Wrecking Ball, he's cool, he can swing around, he can roll around, he's got his minefield. Oh, Echo can technically do that too, if there's a Wrecking Ball on the enemy team. And she's better at it. Uh, uh, there's like some weird sort of like mental wall I'm hitting there where it's like, I don't like the, I don't like the character implications of that. I don't know. Again, I'll talk more about that in a separate video because I need to collect my thoughts on exactly why that bothers me so much. 
But here we go. Let's just fly around a bit. And that's, I guess, all there is to really show off. Um, I do like that, the old fire. I guess, yeah, it's like the sticky bomb mechanic, which Jeff Goodman was teasing months ago. And then we saw in the animated short. So you can just fly around. Beam people. And then you can't duplicate the training bots, unfortunately. Hmm. So yeah, there, there, there she is. She doesn't have any cosmetics yet in the uh, hero gallery. I did check that real quick before getting on. So no skins, no voice lines or anything like that to work with. Just Echo <laughs> that we can play test. I expect there will be a lot of balance changes going through the different iterations on the PTR before she goes to live servers. Because as is, she feels a bit crazy. It could just be that we have to get used to it. You know, that, that tends to happen a lot with new heroes. People either think they're overpowered or underpowered just because they don't understand how to use them. So, yeah, it'll take some time. I'm definitely going to be playing a lot of her on PTR. Um, so expect a lot more videos with gameplay of her in the near future. And, of course, I'll be talking about her specifically quite a bit as well. It would be another hero. It's fun. Adaptive circuits engaged. Lucio. <laughs> I'm, I'll admit, this is a fun ultimate. That is a fun ultimate to play with. I don't know how much I like it from a thematic point of view, though. <laughs> Anyways, I think that's enough for this video. I'll be doing a video later today after this where I do some like PTR match gameplay. For now, I just wanted to show off the abilities, give my initial thoughts. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Have you gotten a chance to try out Echo? Do you enjoy her? Do you think she's a fun hero? Regardless, let me know down in the comments. And as always, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and share it with your friends if you really liked it. Subscribe, follow me on Twitter, hit up that bell, and join my Discord server to never miss any future Overwatch content. And if you'd like to support my channel, then be sure to hit that join button down below to get some cool rewards like the people you see here on screen. Anyways, this is Master Ian Gamer signing off, and until next time, have a great day.